Hi there and welcome back to the children of Atlantis and it's time for a new design. Now that we have I think all the available weapons <coughs> we will go for a combo that is uh, pretty much the best that 2-1-1 has to offer at the moment. So we're going for guardian point defense for our picket ships. That gives them a, actually a lot a lot of short range oomph so to say flak would also be pretty good but it's kinetic which is a problem in itself then we have the small ones and they should damage the shields. So we have a mix now of kinetic energy, which definitely helps. So that's the first thing. That's our picket ships. What do we want to have there? Uh, we want to have the advanced afterburners. And have the corvettes as quick as possible. As you can see, they also add some more evasion. Sapient combat computer here. We'll try our picket first because it has more tracking. Alternative would be swarm, which would be more resistant because of evasion. But we're getting evasion from the advanced afterburners and we have already 90% evasion, so it should be okay. And then we'll go, well, some shields, some armor. As as you can see here. And this is going to be the Charge Armada. The Charge Covid. So the new Covids should be the Charge Covids. And we're going to eliminate all other Covids. And the rest uh, will We'll leave the destroyers and cruisers as they are. We'll mix in battleships though. New battleships and titans that we have now too. The battleships and titans will be the second group. So the next thing is to build battleships. And uh, so as we have the corvette fleet to eliminate the shields we we'll go for the big ones now here battleships we have the spinal mount bow now that's very tempting <sighs> let's see artillery core and artillery stern what would we like to have here? Shield penetration, armor penetration. The Giga Cannon has shield damage and hull damage. The Tachyon Lance has armor damage and hull damage. And that's what we want. That's what we want. The Tachyon Lance. And we have the Artillery Core. And, um, yeah, the Cloud Lightning. <laughs> It's still there, but it's unfortunately out of date, so to say. We would need probably... Hmm, neutron launchers might be good for armor damage and hull damage. The large plasma cannon. Might also be good. Large gorse, kinetic artillery, not so much. They don't make sense. We have the corvettes to deal um, with the shields. And we'll do with the neutron launchers, I guess. To finish what they defeat. Uh, what they the corvettes open up 
Then we'll have artillery tactics. We have range 150 and 130. Extremely long range. What would we like to have? Probably the auxiliary fire control would be would be just great, right? We'll go for it two times. Going very, very offensive. We can go three shields and three armor. We'll call them the Ballistic class. And they should be... I mean, we don't need these renewable ones right now. The Ballistic class is the last class we have. So we now have our battleship. Last thing we should go for is a Titan. We want to have a Titan. There's only one way to build a Titan, and that's like this. And the good thing about Titans is probably their aura and the shield dampener. And now we, we want a positive aura because the negative aura has a certain range. And it's only for one fleet, while the positive aura is usually for other fleets too. So nanobot cloud isn't good. We want to survive a combat. So fire rate is just good for everyone. Tracking plus ten is also good. Hmm. But fire rate we also get from the general. So let's go for targeting grid. That should be cool. Then we have more auxiliary fire control. We have the iron cannon in here. <laughs> Armor damage and hull damage. That's pretty cool, right? And now... Uh, Titan core. We also want the neutrons. That's going to be excessive. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. And then all the hyper shields we can get. That's probably not very much. Yeah, that's all of them. And then neutronium armor. To fill this up. Hmm. Hmm, we could call it the Arturus class. No, we would probably go for something something godlike, the Zeus class. As as much as we are materialists, this is probably that that's something that should sig signify something. The leader in battle, or maybe maybe Mars is better, right? The Mars class. Having it recently colonized, it being the boar god of the ancient Greeks. Go for the mask class. And they look awesome, the Titans. The Titans, yes. Um, so now, where's our fleets? We have the Heracles fleet here. We should split it up, actually. It's in Fevalion. So, we want to transfer the Corvettes over. The rest will be just as they are now. We rename them. That's our Corvettes class. It's going to be um, it's the assassins 
And the Heracles fleet is just these big, big ships. So we'll see what we can do with them. Four ships will be upgraded here. And the Assassins, yeah, we would like to upgrade them as well. So there's that. One and two. Let's do this. We must have a great fleet. And this is the first step to it. Kauri Habitat has finished another construction queue. Yeah, that's that's our colony ships here, I guess. Yes. Is it the second fleet here? Nice. Yeah, we must continue our way. Let's let's move here. Take that down as well in that in that war. Let us win even more. For our friends, the eye highs. There's something coming. They're moving to the Kamiya system. So they're moving away from us. Pop constructions ready here. And look at that. Yeah, once our fleet is moving. It goes down a bit, goes down quite a bit. And the assassins, we can edit the fleet. We should edit the fleet. Yeah, that's all of the corvettes here. We need to have... Hmm. Only the charge class. Let's go for this. Ah, I love the fleet manager. So more for the charge class and here. That's, I don't know. Uh, we want to remove these things here. Can we do that? Where can we do that too? Because we have split them away. Disband. We cannot disband these ships. Oh, we'll just set them to zero, right? Okay, I don't love it that much. Okay, uh, so there's that. So the destroyers. We want to retrofit that for the artillery class, maybe. The Picketeers, um, let's go for the Artillery class. Cruiser, yeah, the Gunner class. Mm, let's go for the Missile class here. The Battleships, we'll go Ballistic. And there we go. We've undoubtedly won. This from the last Dominion. Let's now continue to this station. 10k, that's a little bit better. Let's move in. And take out. They're moving around. Are they fleeing from us? They should, you know, they should. Oh, 
Anavoy Prime is missing someone in the Hypercoms forum. Um, yeah, we should move someone in and then... Maybe this Darrow? I'm not sure, he's robust. So that brings us more unity. I think that could be a good idea. Good idea. A Dero 3. And then we can build an inner synthetic here. Oh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> the last dominion is taken out here. An unlikely combination of events. Our fleets has also already taken over. Now let's move to Dahlberg. What? Oh! <laughs> the FTL inhibitor, okay, no. Then we need to bombard here a bit because the FTL inhibitor needs to be taken out. Otherwise it will be terrible in the long run. When we cannot go back and stuff, that's just terrible. What's going on here? You're, you're moving to Ishara. Well, that's okay. <sighs> it's time. Oh, the Hyborians opening the borders again. Now they see that we are not the worst in this galaxy. Yeah, they probably see the Rexicodium horde and are terribly afraid of everything. I mean, that horde is definitely something. I mean, what's going on there? The Chosen of the Great Khan? Woo! The Deep Ones are fighting here. Yeah, but the anchor fleet of the Deep Ones will take all of that out. The Hippocrates fleet array is is going crazy. Not, not crazy, but it's going good. It's going good. Let's have a look at the science nexus. 30,000 we need. And save up for that. Look at that. What a great research we have. The research wings will contain most of the labs and provide housing for the scientists. They come with multiple security chambers to allow for complete lockdown of various areas if necessary. Very soon. Very soon. And where's the assassins? Come on. Upgrade the fleet and you as well. Yeah, we have changed it, so we should upgrade what we have there. Research concluded. It's going to be interesting. Shield harmonics. The basic mechanics of ship shields are complex, but they can be adjusted and improved in a multitude of ways. And now, what to go for next? Call out of Drin. Could go for maybe superconductivity? No. Energy weapon damage is in the Gnori research agreement. And attack speed as well. Hmm. I guess we'll go for damage. 
I'm not sure. <laughs> That makes us directly better, so um, also particles. Estefania Vasquez, 130. Um, and we have call out of Dren, who will go back to one of the science ships. Where do we have them? Here, the Clark. Arthur C. Clark. And that said, thank you for watching. Let's make our fleet absolutely super great. So we can maybe take on some more, a little bit more personally. Now. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out.